Hello guys, so today I am very excited because I've been wanting to do this video for a while So we are going to be teaching you I'm going to be teaching you how to kind of slim down a round face as you can see I do have a round face and I feel like my face fluctuates a lot um, Depending on you know what I eat how much I'm sleeping yada 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 I really feel like that kind of stuff affects my face So I've kind of developed my own little techniques and ideas on how to slim my face as best as I see fit um, so I kind of wanted to share that with you because I know I mean I feel like a, a lot of you probably have you know you know maybe similar sh face shape to me that like to watch my videos or similar coloring or something I don't know I feel like I have to be relatable in some way or form to you guys for you guys to want to watch my videos so um, for those of you that for those of you that do have round faces this is definitely gonna be a helpful video I think I hope because I'm gonna be going through the products that I use, specific techniques that I do, and also specific tools because tools are so important. I don't know how many times I can stress that. Honestly, not enough because they're very, 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 very important. So finding the right brushes, the right kind of brushes, the right shape brushes, you know, all that jazz. We're going to be going over all of that today. So if you're excited, just keep watching. Don't forget to please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. I am doing a huge drugstore series on my channel right now. So if you are liking, if you like drugstore makeup, and you want to see a lot of drugstore videos then you know come on over to the little fam bam join the party over here and um yeah so all right let's get started first off I want to talk about the type of products that I'm gonna be using so we are gonna be going over contouring bronzing highlighting and blush those are the steps of the face that I think can really really make or break a makeup look so for me I typically tend to reach for powder so that's what I'm gonna be using in this video um, if you do like creams there's no problem with that if you find it easier to work with cream based products definitely you can go ahead and do that and you can pretty much use the same tip Tips and tricks that I'm gonna be showing you guys. Does this look weird? That little, that little fishtail back there. Um, you can pretty much use the same techniques that I'm going to be sharing with you guys with cream products, but yeah, for me, I like to use powders most of the time. So we are going to start off with contouring. Now, contouring, it can change your face shape tremendously. I feel like a lot of us already know that by now, but there are definitely different ways to contour and I feel like a lot of times I see people contouring the exact same way no matter what their face shape is, which I don't think is the most beneficial way. I mean, it can definitely give you some more definition, but it's not going to be the most effective way to slim down your face if you have a round face shape. So the product that I'm going to be using today to contour is one of my favorite products of all time. Um, so this is MAC Cosmetics Shade Stir Sculpting Powder. It's just in a single little pan that I've Put into this palette but that is the actual product um, and I will list all the products down below in case you want to check them out or if you're interested in the exact products that I'm using but honestly any contouring palette that you have at home will do or even any contouring shade um, a couple really nice ones are the NYX, con NYX contouring palette the ABH contour palette is really good and the Kat Von D palette very very good all three of those um, but yeah this is what I'm gonna be using so I think that brushes are one of the most important things to take into consideration when you are contouring. Now, I don't think a lot of people talk about this and I don't know why because it makes such a difference. So there are tons of different shaped contouring brushes as you guys probably know. These are my three favorite shapes that I reach for the most. So the first one is this one. This is actually the one that I use on most days. So this is the Sigma Small Contour F05. I love that it has like a rounded brush and I can kind of just like buff in the product and really really get that sculpted cheekbone look. The second one that I really like is actually the Morphe R8 and most circumstances I don't like the brushes that are super flat like this for my face shape or for round face sh shapes in general but this one I like because it's not synthetic it's a natural hair bristle brush natural hair bristle brush <laughs> you guys know what I mean but um, because of that it actually blends in the powders pretty smoothly so I like this one a lot and then the last one my ride or die Mac 168 this is such a amazing contouring brush this is not really I don't think this is really meant for contouring I mean it might be I don't really know you know makeup is makeup and there's rules, but they are to be broken. Um, but this one is personally 
one of my favorite brushes. I would say these two are the ones that I reach for the most out of any of them. There was a time where I would not put this down, like probably six months where I never used another contour brush. So very solid options, both of these and the Morphe one as well. Just depends kind of what shape you're looking for, but I would recommend any three of these shapes. I'm gonna try to show you one that I would not recommend. So I would not recommend something like this for contouring, um, just because you want to stay away from anything too fluffy and too wide because that is going to really make too harsh of lines so definitely stay away from anything like that and you'll be good to go um, I think for today I will use the I don't know what should I use out of these two I love both of these so much so it's really hard for me to choose oh. okay I think I'm gonna use this one so the Sigma small contour I take a little bit of the product I do tap off the excess just so that we don't get too much and then I'll just start going in on my cheekbones and the trick to contouring for a round face is not to bring it too much towards the nose so you want to stop it about maybe halfway towards the eye I find that that makes the best shape if you bring it in too much it will actually make your face look shorter thus making it look more round so definitely don't take it too far in um, as you may see in like some diagrams and stuff that are all over Instagram I only recommend taking it towards maybe half of the eye at most and when you're contouring you always want to be blending upwards or blending backwards towards the ear so that is the best way to get that kind of swooped up look that we're all going for and if you're blending inwards you are going to kind of be closing out the face a little bit more so those are kind of like my techniques on how to get the contour exactly perfect and you definitely 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 do not want to take it too wide as well if you guys know much about contouring and highlighting, you know contouring is what brings stuff in. Highlighting is what brings stuff out. Look at me like this because... Okay, my nail broke. Um, these are my real nails too, so I'm like really upset because... What do I do now? Like, do I just cut all of them? Or do I just get a fake nail put on just the pinky and then just let it let it be, let it live over there. I was so upset when this happened, not gonna lie. But anyway, so back to contouring. When you are trying to slim your face, you do want to apply contour to the outer corners of the face or the outer edge of the face, I should say. So I just take that same exact brush, same product, MAC Shadester, and I start to go across the kind of temples. And I blend this in really close to the hairline and disperse the product outwards after that so that it looks very flawless. But this is going to be key in giving you that slimmed, down effect because we want that all over whoop, right on the sides so that's why we are adding a lot of contour to those areas do you see what a difference that already makes if you just do this line it will look it will actually widen it because you're making a line here but not closing it off so this part is essential I'm telling you it is key as DJ Khaled would say so definitely Blend it into this corner over here so that we can, you know, really work to slim down the sides of the face. Alrighty, now moving to the forehead. This is a mistake that I made for years and I never really realized that it was actually making my face look more round. So what I need you guys to do right now, do not go another second without doing this. Never, ever, ever, if you have a round face, if you have a different shaped face, this is actually perfectly fine. But if you have a round face, do not put um, bronzer or contour right in the middle here. You want to keep it only on the sides of the face because if you put it here, it will shrink down your face and thus make it look more round if you put it here it's again going to have a slimming effect making it look a little bit longer and you know less round so what I'm gonna do I'm literally still using the same brush the same powder and I just go ahead and kind of buff that powder okay I went a little heavy-handed there but um, I just go ahead and kind of like buff that powder into the sides of the temple here and I will sometimes take like a bigger fluffier powder brush and just kind of buff out the edges of this guy just because obviously on the forehead you don't want it to be too harsh because it can look a little crazy sometimes but like I said do not Mark my words, do not put anything right here because it will make your face look more round. And while we're here, I do go ahead and contour the nose. Um, although, you know, this may not have like a direct impact on the actual face shape, it does kind of just slim everything down. So I do recommend contouring the nose. If you guys want me to do like a separate video just on contouring the nose or like maybe contouring the nose for beginners or something like that, I could totally do that because I feel like that's just like a video in itself. But next, we are going to move to bronzers. Now, bronzers, um, for me, I use it mostly to blend out the contour and just add some more warmth into 
into the face, but it really does have a big effect on the slimness of the face as well because of where you place the bronzer. So um, you can use any bronzer that you like, really, um, anything you have on hand. There's tons of amazing bronzers out there. This is what I've been using recently, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I really like using foundation powder foundations as bronzers because it just gives you a little bit more coverage and just a really flawless finish, especially this one. So let me talk about brushes real quick. Um, these are the two brushes that I reach for the most for bronzers, and I know they're very different shapes, but they are both beautiful in their own right. So this one is the Japanesque blush brush, I believe, but it's great for bronzer. It has a nice taper tip. It does have um, natural hair bristles, which are the best for powders in my opinion, and you can just kind of like blend it out, blend it out, and it's good to go. This one is a definitely a ride or die brush for me. I love this brush more than life itself. Okay, I'm being over dramatic there, but I really love this brush. This is the MAC Cosmetics 135, and the reason I love this, there are tons of uh, bronzer brushes. Ooh, I'm getting tongue tied. There's tons of bronze bronzer brushes on the market that are have this dome shape, but this one in particular I like because it is actually thin, so you can have a very precise application. And when you have a round face, I'm telling you, girl or boy or you know whoever is out there that has a round face that wants to slim it down, it will definitely make a difference. Like, look at the difference between these two. There, this is almost half the size, and I'm telling you, for precision, you're gonna want to have something like this. So this is what I'll be using today, and I just take it into the um, the bronzer that I'm going to be using today and I go ahead and start blending out. So what you want to do as far as the placement of the bronzer, you want to place it directly above where you put the contour down and start to blend out the edges of the contour and start to warm up the face. Do not under any circumstances take this bronzer too far up towards the middle of the face or towards the eye. That is going to round out the face even more. You definitely don't want that so you want to keep it at a precise level if that makes sense. Um, so that's what I'm saying about the brush. It's really important to use a brush that allows you to get that precision, but still blend out the contour as best as possible. At this point, um, a lot of people will actually go in and bake right here. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that, you know, on Instagram and YouTube. Um, I do not find that that works best for my shape, or my face shape. <laughs> um, I definitely don't because, again, that is going to be almost like shrinking the length of our face, which we don't want if we want it to look slimmer and less round. So if you go like this, you can see it's just cutting off like a little bit of your cheeks. So that's why I actually like to take my contour a little bit more down on an angle. So I just wanted to quickly mention that because I'm not going to be doing that. Um, you know, if anything I say, if it does work for you for some reason, then for sure definitely go ahead and keep doing it. But I'm just sharing kind of like my tips and what I find to really work the best for me. So favorite part coming up. Coming at ya, um, we're gonna do some highlighting. So I'm gonna be using this Jouer highlighter in the shade Citrine, and then the Sigma Strobing Fan F42. You guys know this is my favorite highlighter brush because, again, I just like brushes that allow me to have precision while still giving me maximum pigmentation of the product. So um, I just take this onto my little brush. Like so. The biggest thing I find with highlighting is you do not want to make a stripe from here to here like you see a lot of the time, you know, on Instagram and wherever. Um, I see so many girls and it looks beautiful on them, don't get me wrong, it looks amazing, um, making this kind of like stripe of highlighter. but. Seriously guys, for me, that does not work whatsoever because, again, you're highlighting this outer corner or this outer part of the face and that is going to then widen the face, especially in pictures. When you're taking pictures with flash photography, whew, I've done that and it is not pretty because it's like literally like just widening, widening my face. I mean, it's popping, the highlight's popping, but the fa my face looks so much more round because I have the highlighter going wider out. So what I found to work best is to take the highlighter and almost apply it right definitely right on the tip that's like where I want the most highlight the most pop to be the most bling um, but I take it and I almost make like a little C shape I do put a little bit on the brow bone so I make a little C shape like this do not take it out towards this area because that will definitely widen it like I just said so here we go I'm gonna be doing it showing you a little example I'm making a little C shape towards the brow bone filling in the brow bone and then bringing the product back down and blending this out don't you know feel free to blend it out and make sure that it looks nice and flawless but like I said don't try to take it too wide because again highlighter is going to widen the look of your face 
And I do like to highlight right down the tip of the nose as well as um, down the middle of the nose because I just feel like it completes the look. I'm not going to say that this is going to, you know, make or break the shape of your face by any means, but I feel like it just kind of, you know, adds to that slim down effect. Last thing that I wanted to touch upon in this video, blush. Now, you, you may not think that blush has too much to do with it, but girl, it does. Um, so, again, I've made this mistake a million and one times. That's why I know that it doesn't look great um, in pictures. Or, I, w I wouldn't say it doesn't look great, but it definitely doesn't help in the matter if you're trying to make your face look slimmer. So what I like to do with a blush, first of all, um, if you do have a rounder face, I find that rosier blushes actually do help out a little bit more than nude blushes. Honestly, you guys, you know me, I love nudes. I, I would wear nudes every day of my life if I could, and I still do. I still do wear nude blushes a lot because I prefer them, but as far as like pictures go, um, if you know that you're going to be, you know, in photography or taking a driver's license picture or a passport picture or something like that, I definitely would recommend going with like a rosier blush. School pictures, your girl gotcha. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be using this Tarte Cosmetics blush. It's in the shade Flush, and the brush that I'm using is a MAC 137. Now, again, you, you can see kind of like a pattern in my brush um, options or like my brush picks because I always go for brushes that have precision and that I can just get directly into the spots where I want them. So I'm taking a little bit of this product and I just like to pop it right on the apples. It really helps when you smile a little bit, like do a little half smile and can kind of find the apples of your cheeks and I blend backwards. Now the trick is, again, I don't like to take the blush too close into the middle of the face, too close to the nose, so I like to keep it almost where that blush, or sorry, almost where that bronzer ended, right in the middle of the eye and again, blending backwards, but not going too far out towards the hairline. And voila, we have slimmed down our face. So these are the techniques that really have worked for me. I feel like they work really well, honestly, because I've tried everything, I've tried anything, because, like I said, um, my face shape is actually, like, one of my biggest insecurities. So, um, yeah, I just... I feel like this works for me, so I hope it does work for you guys and, you know, helps you guys out if you are dealing with confidence issues based on your face shape like I have really dealt with in the past. And, yeah. Also, I wanted to do a little giveaway, so I'm going to be giving away the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Collection. You get three liquid lipsticks and a bomb-ass highlighter. If you haven't tried Ofra's highlighters, whew, they are Amazing, like one of the best formulas I've ever tried. Rodeo Drive, you already know that was my fave. Um, but I wanted to give you guys this little gift. Um, not gift, well, yeah, it's a gift for me to you. But um, I just wanted to do another little giveaway because, I don't know, I like doing these like surprise giveaways. They're like sneak attacks, you guys don't know what's coming. And I usually just sprinkle them in either like in the middle or the end of the video. So, you know, you gotta, you know, stay tuned. And it's really only gonna be for those of you who, guys who actually stay to the end. I don't know. I don't know. True fam right there gets a little giveaway. So in order to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel right here, right now. I hope you guys already are if you're staying till the end. Um, and comment your favorite drink from Starbucks because I'm about to go to Starbucks right now and get me a little drink drink. So yeah, comment your favorite drink from Starbucks, be subscribed, and that's all you got to do. I will pick a winner about a week, or not about, one week from from the um, day that this video goes live. So if you want to win this, just just do those things. And I have been spr sprinkling in these little giveaways, but I'm going to be doing lots more because I have so much stuff that I want to give back to you guys. And thank you guys for always, you know, showing your support and showing your love and watching my videos and everything because it really, 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 really does mean everything to me and you guys mean everything to me. So that is going to be it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, if you find it helpful. I really hope you guys do find it helpful. Like I said, I'll list all of the products and the brushes that I mentioned down below in the description box in case you guys want to check anything out. And I think that's going to be it for me. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. P.S. Another thing, if you kind of take your um, 
little fringe at the front here and kind of like frame your face. That's another thing that can actually help to create the illusion of a slimmer face. I don't know why, um, but I have noticed that when I do that. So that's why a lot of times I'll wear my hair like this with like little bits at the front because I feel like it helps to create that, you know, nice slim down illusion. Look at me. I'm not even giving makeup tips anymore. I'm over here giving hair tips, you know, just doing my thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 